Tony. Tony Bambino, a six-month member. Hey! Come on in. Hey! Come, come on, on in. in. Hey! So my man Tony said, what's good, Boog? Your cadence game was definitely one of the best in the league. Was something that you always had, was it something that you always had or did you have to develop it through time? Still to this day, me and my brother mimic your cadence all the time. LOL. Ready? Ready up. So no, let's hit a bit of No, no, no. No, 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 no. It was white 80. But that's what he's, I'm reading his words. Yes. It, a lot of people would think that I'm saying ready, mm -hmm. but it's white 80. Can we hear it for one more time, for the one time? Ready, break. Hey, 58 the mic. So what, AD? What is that? My man, man sent the video in of, of, of the compilation. Bro, I'm telling you, my cadence game is like, it's ridiculous. So what, AD? What is that? So what, AD? What is that? The skins come again, and another flag. So what any? What is that a record? Five neutral zone violations in one game. So what any? What is that? Cam changing the rhythm of his snap count, and these defensive guys are trying to jump it. That's like eight jump false starts. So is this something that you practice? Did it, did it Make come out the game? Everything look the same. Understand, go back real quick. This is another video? football one on one. Yeah. Every time at this, it's, you know what? Shout out to Sam Mills Jr. Mm -hmm. In training camp, one year, he was like, You have a bad tendency to right before the snap comes, you raise your hands to mm. catch it. So when I go into the gun, I knew that as a caveat to say, Oh, defenders are going off my hands. You see how I raised my hands? Yeah. Go to the next one. Under, uh, they go to the gun. The gun, yeah. Make sense to you? Hey, I can't give you all my secrets. Give me all my stuff but I knew defenders <laughs> was going off of my hands. Yeah. So I would use that against them. Mm. It's tendencies, Peggy. Yeah. This is how you self scout and break your tendencies. So when, when you're in, in the huddle or when you are in your cadence, you will want them to think that you're about to get the snap. Yeah. It could be something as simple as extending your hands. When you think about guys like Aaron Darnold, when you think about guys like JJ Watt, when you look at guys like TJ Watt, Michael Parsons, Von Miller, yeah. great pass defenders, they always have cues. You got body and you don't know who is giving off the cue. Luke Keekley would find these cues every time the guard is in a down position and he's light, he's pulling. Hey, 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 watch the pull. Anything. Anytime he breaks the huddle and he looks to the right first and then looks to the left, he's always going to where he looks. Anything. So when I started to realize that people were looking at my hand movement, I would add that or incorporate that in my cadence. I was going to ask you that, but you can, you kind of touched on it. I was like, from defenses and defenders, did you start looking at their body language or body movement? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you could tell who's, who's coming on a blitz or a pressure by demeanor. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a nickel is pressed over the slot yeah. and he's capped, and he's real quiet. Chances are he's coming. All right? Yeah. You like you just defensive tendencies and, and blitzing posture. And when you look at certain things, you say to yourself, okay, he's definitely coming. So also with bluffing, you remember that clip earlier in training camp when Aaron Rodgers was like, You're not coming yeah, back. You're not up. coming back up. Yeah. It's blitzing posture. A lot of guys always act like they're gonna blitz and they always bail. Yeah. It's just a tendency. 